Hello everyone, my name's John. Welcome to my channel, New Blogger. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the single post option here to customize your WordPress website. Uh, this video is part of my Ash WordPress free theme tutorials. So if you'd like to watch my previous videos on this theme, then please click on the link in the description, which will take you to a playlist and you can choose which videos you wish to watch. For any future videos that I plan to publish about this theme, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And when I publish a video, you'll get notified. Okay, so let's get started with today's video, which is about the single post option. So if you click on that, uh, this is about the post element elements that you want shown on individual blog posts. So this currently is my home page. So when a uh, when a visitor goes to one of your blog posts, let's just take this one for an example. Uh, you can have you have a, a set of options here of what you want to show or not to show. So uh, the first one here is the featured image. So if you want, if you have a featured image for your blog post, then it will show here. If you don't want to show that, then you can just untick that box and then the image will disappear and everything moves up. The next one is show categories, which is above your blog title, which is just uh, this text right here. So if you don't want to show that, again, you can just untick the box. And as you can see, the live update uh, will show you what that looks like on your site. The next one is the date. Um, I do have the date removed for my blog posts. Uh, all you can see here is the time that it was published, but if you don't have that um, feature removed and you do have a date, then it will be here with the time. If you don't want to show that, again, you can just untick this box and then the time and the date will disappear. And the next one is show comments. If you want uh, your visitors to see that you have comments for this blog post, uh, then again, you can uh, tick or untick that regarding on uh, pre re re your personal preferences. And the next one is to do with the author and the author description. Um, if you don't want to show the author of this particular blog post, then again, you can just untick those there. Uh, so you can pick and choose what you want to show. You can have them all just by reticking on the boxes, or you can pick and choose. If you don't want to show the date, you can untick that, or you don't want to show the feeded image because perhaps it's uh, affecting your core vital score, which is uh, the loading page of your, of your site, which is uh, something that Google is looking at this year. So if you are finding that your page is loading, uh, loading quite slow, then have a look at maybe removing the featured image to see if that improves your loading page speed. Uh, the final option on this one here is to show related posts. So when your um, visitor has read your blog post, at the bottom, you will have this section here. You may also like, this is the related blog post. So maybe uh, I like to have this here because I think it's it helps keep visitors on your site. You don't want to just read your blog, page, your blog post and then go somewhere else. Give them something else, uh, recommend something else that they may be interested uh, to read further on your blog post and keep them on your site. But again, if you don't, you don't like that feature, then again, just switch that up to none and this feature will disappear and you'll just have what's above. Okay, so that's it. That's how you use the single post to customize your WordPress website. Uh, if you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. I do my best to reply to all comments. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to um, help you as much as I can. Uh, to get notified when I publish new uh, videos, new tutorials, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you click on the bell, you'll get notified when I publish a new video. And if I helped you again uh, at all today, then please like, share, and let me know in the comments what you thought of my video so that I can improve uh, my tutorials for future videos. Um, thank you for watching today, and I really look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thank you.